Hey guys, today I want to show you a video about the new Opera browser called Opera Reborn. Now if you remember a couple of months ago, I did a video on Opera Neon. If you haven't seen that, I can show you the video in the description above on the upper right. Now this is a new browser that Opera just released and they apparently with the feedback that they have from Opera Neon they integrated the changes into their own official Opera browser. So they just released it and you can go download it for Windows, Linux or Mac computer. What I have here is a Linux version. So when you first start the browser it will look just like any other browser. This is actually running Chromium 58 underneath so if you are familiar with Chrome, you should be very familiar with this browser. And this is a start page that you'll see. It's uh, a speed dial, so very similar. The design is very nice. It looks very clean and modern looking. And if you want to customize this start page, you can click on this button here. And you can change it to different background if you want. And it's quite nice. I like the options there. And there's also a dark theme. You can click on this and you'll have a dark looking browser. Now you can customize what to appear on the sidebar. You have Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, Speed Dial, Bookmark, Personal News, History, Extension, Download, and Settings. So by default, what I noticed is that Downloads and Settings are not enabled. So you have to go here and then enable them. I really like the Download and Settings, so I'm going to enable them here. And this is exactly what you will expect from the, from the sidebar. So if you have Facebook Messenger, you can use it to sign in and if you have WhatsApp it's built into the WhatsApp um, sidebar here. Speed dial takes you directly back so if I'm on Amazon.com and click on speed dial it takes me right back to where my start page is so you can customize things and here's your bookmark you can access all your bookmarks so it's, you can uh, bookmark things very easily. I'm just gonna see it's, it looks very nice so I'm going to put all oh, bookmark done and then you see it appears in the bookmarks so it's very simple personal news uh, I haven't really played with this a lot but you can actually add sources to your news uh, start page so you just pick your favorite news outlet and then start reading and it will try to personalize this experience for you to find news that interests you so it, I actually really like this feature um, it gives me I don't have to go to news websites or anything. It'll just give me a syndicated content from my favorite news sources. Here's the history with like what pages you visited today, yesterday, or any time. So it's just pretty standard. And when you go to extensions, you can find extensions for, um, you know, what you like. I don't have anything installed right now, but you can browse it here to find your favorite extension for Abra. And I'm pretty sure all the extensions that you love on other browsers are available in Opera. And then the next thing is the downloads. This is where you manage your downloads. So it's it has the capability to classify your downloads into different categories. And this is what I really like about it. So you can find things very easily and fast. And finally, the settings tab. This is where you do a lot of uh, customization for your for your things. So by default, this will not be checked. So it comes with an ad block uh, power extension built into the browser. So all you have to do to enable ad blocker is to click on this here. And you can choose from many lists available on the internet. A lot of these lists are what ad block extensions are using. So uh, you'll be pretty safe to assume that it will block most of the ads. Um, but no, as always, you should whitelist your favorite websites to support them. And then what's really interesting feature is that Opera is known for its built-in VPN. So if you go to privacy and security tab here, you can enable VPN that's built into the browser. So when I do this, and if I visit Amazon.com, you will see that there's a VPN button here. So basically it's on. That means like um, my computer will go through another computer first before it makes a request to Amazon. It will hide my identity on the internet. Now this is not like as good as a paid VPN, so this is still public VPN, so you have to be careful with that. Not that you're doing anything illegal, but you still got to be careful. But uh, that's a pretty quick rundown of what Abra is capable of. 
and if you want to explore further you can go to the opera website again this is a review for opera reborn i hope you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you next time